Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, we will discuss some concepts about Windows services. Let's start with understanding what services are. A service is a program that is designed to perform a specific task for the smooth functioning of the operating system. It runs in the background. It does not have a graphical user interface, and it does not require the user to interact with it. Some services are configured to start running as soon as the system boots up. Some start running when a specific trigger event occurs, and some services must be started manually. Here is an example of a service. The local session manager service starts at system boot time. It is responsible for managing user login sessions on a multi-user machine. Here is another one. The Microsoft Defender antivirus service also starts at system boot time. It is responsible for regularly scanning a computer for potentially malicious programs. Now, I will show you how you can view information about services in the user land. We will open up the Services Management Console. This is the list of services on the system. Some services are currently active. They each have their own configuration. Right-click on a service and select Properties to view the service configuration. This is the absolute path of the program that is functioning as a service. sbchost.exe has started it. These are the command line parameters used to start the service. Let's talk about the clipboard service. It enables the user perform activities using the clipboard like cut, copy, and paste. We can also view the service with a debugger. For this, we will start Windows Debugger as an administrator. Head over to File and select Attach to Process. Here, let's find the clipboard service. This will help us view the internal state of the service as it is in execution. Here's what WinDBG does. It displays the name of the executable that is running this service and the names of the dynamic link libraries used by this service. It then waits for further commands to examine the internal state. Some malware samples create malicious services on the victim machine. Understanding how services work and how their internal state can be examined will help a reverse engineer fully comprehend the behavior of a malicious service. Do you have a good idea now about what Windows services are? Stay tuned to our channel for more videos on Windows internals. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!